Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Papa Bear here, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. So while out walking Olsen, I decided to do an ad hoc video about five things you need to get started on doing a simple, simple day hike. Now, let me clarify the whole aspect of simple. I'm talking about going out in the neighborhood and walking around the neighborhood. I'm talking about going to a local park where there's people around and walk in a local park. I'm not talking about going to a national park unless you, unless it's your back door or backyard, excuse me. I'm not talking about going to a national park where you're in the woods so where if you get hurt, you have to call for emergency responders to get you out. That means you gotta be uh, heloed out, okay? I'm talking about where you're around normal society, like I'm walking in my neighborhood right now and you wanna get into doing backpacking or day hikes, but you want to build up your mileage in a very, I'd say, respectful way. So here we go. So there's five things you need to consider when you're out there um, day hiking. Number five, hydration. Hydration is very, very critical, okay? Even though you may be walking, you know, a mile outside, you gotta look at the fact of the weather as you're walking, and you gotta look at the fact at of your um, your physical condition. If you're someone that hasn't been very physical throughout their life, and you're just trying to do something that's very physical and demanding, like walking, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I used to work at Six Flags, I used to walk at least 10 miles a day. I lost a lot of weight. Now it doesn't matter what you use for the hydration. It can be a hydro pack. It can be uh, a bottle of water. It it doesn't really matter as long as you have means to carry your water and drink as you need, then you're perfectly fine. The fourth thing you need is first aid kit. Now, I want you to understand something. Your first aid kit should be designed and set up for the activity that you're doing. Okay, if you're bush, if you're bushwhacking, yeah, you're gonna need a robust first aid kit. Why? Because you're going somewhere where no one knows where you're at. And guess what? If I was an emergency responder, I'm gonna have to travel in to get you out of the woods. And just because I make it to you doesn't mean it's an idle situation to uh, evacuate out of the location. I might have to go two miles up trail or some other BS crap to get you somewhere so that way you can be able to uh, get, uh, get um, evac'd out. So a first aid kit is very, very important. You have to be sure that you have the simple things like a band-aid, neosporum, some alcohol swab, things of that nature. Again, get your first aid kit based on the activity that you're doing. Number three, clothing and foot attire. I want you to understand something. For a simple day hike, you don't have to go to REI and buy the most expensive stuff that they sell because it's high speed, low drag, wicking material. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you, okay? You can literally go to Walmart, buy yourself some uh, wicking shirts, athletic shirts, and have a nice day. And on top of that, you can also buy some trail runners. They don't have to be a hundred dollars worth of shoes, folks. Come on, let's keep it real. You're day hiking. The most you'll probably walk in one day as a beginner is five miles. The most you'll ever walk, honestly. If you're walking past five miles as a beginner, you're gonna mess yourself up. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna hurt yourself. Something's gonna be sore the next day. You're not gonna be able to walk because you push your body too hard, too fast than what you need to. With that being said, yo, you just need some simple shoes. They don't have to be the marrow. They don't have to be uh, all that stuff you see through hikers do when they go backpacking. Yo, no, don't do that to yourself. Save the buck for gear that you actually need. Number two, snacks. It's good to have some snacks with you because it's good energy, especially if you have diabetes or you have medical condition and you have to keep your sugar high or something like that. Having snacks is a great morale booster, you know, especially if you're like, okay, today I'm going to hike two miles. I'm going to hike a mile down to the end of this, the end of this trail and then I'm gonna hike a mile back. It's something that you can do, something that I used to do when I first got started, and my mom and my dad used to do, it's like, hey, and I do it with Julian too. Hey, we're gonna go on mile on this trail. When we get to the end of the trail, we're gonna sit back and we're gonna eat a snack. And then we're gonna walk back, and then in the car, we have another snack. So that's a, that's, that's a motivator for you to actually get out and do the hike when you're on a boring trail because it's flat lands or you're in the swamp and there's really nothing to look at and so on and so forth. So, with that being said, snacks. Yo, don't don't downplay what, what it offers you, all right? 
And honestly, I like to get Skittles. That's my thing with snacks. But it ain't good for me. Number one. Now, number one is one of the most important things that as a beginner hiker, as a veteran hiker, as a weekend hiker or weekend warrior or a through hiker, this is the most important thing you must have in order to complete a hike and that is determination listen to what i'm trying to tell you it doesn't matter how much your gear costs it doesn't matter how light your gear is it doesn't matter how in shape you are determination is the number one thing that you need in order to complete your hike okay now i'm talking about day hikes like i said before you know i'm talking about complex hikes i'm talking about weekend hikes overnight hikes and a through hike you need determination okay don't get determination confused if you have an injury okay don't get that what I'm talking about is when you wake up one morning let's say you're through hiking I saw it like that I saw it like that and you wake up one morning and you're like 30 days into your hike and you look and you're like I can't do this no more because I don't have the passion and drive to do it congratulations you're honest with yourself Take yourself off the trail, go do something else that you're interested in, and spend your money elsewhere. Now, does that make you a failure? No, because guess what? You decided to try and do it. There's people out there that don't even try to get out there and actually hike, okay, or to do something, or chase their dream. I give you more props than someone that sits on the couch saying, one day I'm going to do this, and they don't do it. Let's keep it real, okay? So with that being said, if you lose that determination, that motivation to keep going, it's okay. Congratulations. You attempted to do something with yourself. And I have more respect for you than someone else that doesn't even try. Okay? So, with that being said, those are the five things you need if you ever want to get into a simple day hike evolution. If you guys have any other suggestions or things that I should have mentioned and you wanted to talk about it, by all means, go to the comment section below. Oh, God. We have peacocks in the neighborhood. And right now, Olsen is trying to get up on this peacock. Luckily for me, I have his harness on him because he would probably choke himself to death, death as hard as he's pushing me. Woo! Man, I'm going to tell you something. Let me see if I get the peacocks right there, right behind me. Whoa, ah, there's that peacock. You see how I just went? Um, Olsen, no. Olsen, no. Come. Come. Woo! Man, talk about that. Um... Yeah, if you have any comments that you want to provide, by all means, provide some comments in the comment section. If you actually like this video, I know it's very short, straight to the point, not all the cinem cinematic stuff. Yo, like this video. If you want to share this information, please, by all means, share it to someone that you think that could benefit from, from this information. And then, as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I like to do things kind of unorthodox because guess what? I'm different from you. And you can take what I got and use it for what you want to use it for. Just don't kill anybody behind it. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. Uh, I'm going to finish up this little wonderful hike with Olsen. Try not to have him yank my arm again after he goes out to the Peacock. And I can't wait to see you guys outdoor and go hike yourself. You want to say bye, Olsen? You want to say bye? Okay. Olsen, say bye. Hey, I'm almost done with this hike. I got some water waiting for me. That ass. Olsen.